Muscular dystrophy is a muscle disorder characterized by progressive muscle weakness and deterioration. It can manifest itself at any stage of life, and patients begin losing control of their limbs and motor ability. There is no cure. Time goes on, the days grow longer. Even the simple things like getting out of bed become a struggle. All the little things that you take for granted suddenly become luxuries. Luxuries that we become so dependent on, the change is almost unnatural. Walking is tiresome. I am tired. This disease didn't just affect me. The hardest part of my situation was telling those that I loved. Damn it! Sitting through the awkward silence, hearing the pain echo from their cries, and their voices tremble through the anger. What quality of life was I living? What did I have left? Not much. Memories here or there? Memories of when I could play and run around carefree? Do you know how hard it is to wake up and not know if you'll be able to move? Or go to sleep and not know if the last words you'll ever have the strength to say are good night mom, I love you? And people recognize my weakness although I wish they hadn't. And I had hopes and dreams too. I wanted to grow old and play with my kids, or even go to prom, get a girl, but now they won't even look my way. No one looked my way anymore. Trips to the hospital became frequent and medical checkups became a necessity. Is there anything I need to know? I called ahead and let the doctor know we're coming. Conditions getting worse. Faith was at a loss and optimism was bleak. This disease was becoming who I was. My thoughts were darkening and my hope, my hope was fading. But I wouldn't give in to this inevitable doom. Every ounce, every fiber of my being wanted to stop, but my heart wouldn't. The greatest pain is the loss of hope. What's wrong with you? Shut up. You can't lift this weight. You're pathetic. Shut up. We have places we're going in this life. What are we gonna do now? We're just gonna sit here and wallow in our- Shut up! Doubt crept throughout me, yet I wouldn't give in. Doubt was my fear, and fear was my only strength. It kept me pushing, pushing towards brighter days.
but they never came. Slowly this thing is eating away at me. Slowly my heart loses its fighting spirit. I suddenly have to deal with the thought of growing feeble and dying, slowly withering away, decaying, something that most people couldn't possibly imagine. I don't want this. I don't want this monster in me. I never asked for any of this. This fateful demise that seemed destined to be my downfall. Why? Why me? I knew that I could beat it, that I just wasn't trying hard enough. And I wasn't just trying to overcome this atrocity. I had to win. I had to prove to myself that I could beat this so that I could feel normal one more time. One last time. So I pushed, I pushed myself up to the top. All the while feeling the hateful glare of my fear and sorrow. I stood and put it all aside. And I ran. I ran down the bridge. I ran until I fell. <laughs> and yeah, it hurt. But it felt great. I've never been more normal than I am now.